right, this is lesson 12, session 2. We are still multiplying by two-digit numbers. So let's take a look at our first problem here. It's on page 257. Students, you should have a pencil in your math book, and if I write it, you should be writing it. Okay. Folding chairs are set up in a school auditorium for play. There are 16 rows of chairs. Each row has 28 chairs. How many folding chairs are set up for the play? What is this problem about? Well, we're talking about a auditorium or like a cafeteria and or maybe a gym. Um, this says school auditorium, so it's a big room. And there's folding chairs in it and they're set up in rows for a play. What information is important? Well, it's important to know that we have 16 rows of chairs, and it's also important to know that we have 28 chairs in each row. What am I trying to find out? I'm trying to find out how many folding chairs are set up for the play. Can I draw a model? Yes, we can draw a model, but first we're gonna do the full partial products now today. Okay. So starting with partial products, I'm going to be doing 16 times 28, okay? So when I'm doing partial products, I'm first going to ignore this, and really I ignore that too in the beginning. So I'm doing 8 times 6 ones. I'm not going to write the answer yet just so we can practice this. Then I'm doing 8 times 1, but it's in the tens place. So 8 times 1, 10, okay? Then I'm going to go over here to this 2. This 2 is in the tens place, so it would be 2 tens times, and we're going to start up here at the corner first, 6 ones. Then I'm going to do two tens times one ten, okay? Now I'm gonna figure out how much each of these is worth. Well, eight times six ones means that's just worth six, so eight times six is 48. Eight times one ten, well one ten means that it's worth 10, so eight times 10 is 80. Two tens means that this is worth 20 times six ones, so that means this is worth six, so 20 times six. Two times six is 12, but then we have that zero that we need to move over. And finally, two tens, which again means 20, times one ten, which means 10. So two times one is two, and then we have two zeros, we need to add to the end. Now we can add all of this together. Eight plus zeros is eight. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Two, three, four. So 448 chairs. Okay, now we are going to solve it using the area model. So my area model down here. The first thing I need to do is I need to put 16 and 28 in expanded form. So it would be 10 plus 6, 20 plus 8. Okay, so I'm going to put one of them over here on this side, 10 plus 6. I'm going to put the other one at the top, 20 plus eight. Any place where there's a plus sign, I'm gonna draw a line through the box, like that, and now I'm ready to solve. So, 10 times 20, one times two is two, plus two zeros. 10 times eight, which is 80. Six times 20, Six times two is 12, plus one more zero. Six times eight, which is 48. 
I'm going to add all those together. 200 plus 80 plus 120 plus 48. Zeros plus 8 is 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 2, 3, and 4. So 448 chairs, which is the same thing that I got up here. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't realize you couldn't see. 448 chairs, which is what I got up here. And you can see my work there. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to page 258. All right, so right here, you can see where they did the area model. They made theirs nice and color-coded, so you can see the different. Now, the reason they do it like this, where this box is a lot bigger than these, is because this is probably going to be your biggest number, okay? And then this is probably going to be your second biggest number, whereas these two numbers are going to be your smallest number. So if you notice, it's almost like saying this is worth 10 and this is worth 6. Well, 10 is bigger than 6. This is worth 20. This is worth 8. Well, 20 is longer than 8. So that's the reason why they do it kind of like that. And then here's the other model where we did with partial products, where we did 6 ones times 8 ones six ones times two tens, etc., to get our answer there. So this is also a great sheet to keep handy to help you know how to solve these two digit by two digit problems. Okay. Why is the area model divided into four sections? Well, because it is showing us how to divide into sections. How do the four steps in the multiplication using partial products in model it relate to the four sections in the area model it and picture it? Okay. So right here you have one step, two step, three steps, four steps. Up here we have four boxes. We'll look. There's one, two, three, four. So whatever this is, 10 times 20 will be where four is. 10 times 20. Two, six times 20. From my 2, 6 times 20. But notice how it goes backwards, 1, 2, and then crosses over. 1, 2, 3, 4. Kind of makes a weird backward Z. So they are the same. Next, what is the sum of the partial products and also the product of 28 times 16? Well, we already found that on our first page. We found it's 448 chairs. Okay. Would the product change if 20 plus 8 was on the top and 10 plus 10 plus 8 were on the side? Oh, if 20 on the top were changed to 10 plus 10 plus 8? No. Because the total is still 28. Okay, and you don't have to do five or six. All right, we're gonna take a look at number seven on page 260. Complete the area model below, then add the partial products to find the product of 27 and 21. Show your work. So they've already put the numbers in the chart for us. So 20 times 20, so 2 times 2 is 4. And we've got two zeros left, so it's 400. 20 times 7, so 2 times 7 is 14. Add our 0 is 140. 1 times 20 is 20. And 1 times 7 is 
seven. Now I need to add all of those together. So 400, 140, 20, seven. So we've got seven, four, five, six, four, five. So 567. Okay. And we're not going to do the partial products on this one. There's not enough room. Number eight. 37 times 23, show your work. So I'm going to start by putting 37 in expanded form, which is 30 plus 7. Then I'm going to put 23 in expanded form, which is 20 plus 3. I'm going to make my box. I'm going to do 30 plus 7, 20 plus 3. Anywhere where there's pluses, get lines. So 20 times 30, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 zeros. 20 times 7, 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 zero. 30 times 3, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 zero. And 3 times 7, which is 21. Now I'm going to add those together. 600, 140, 90, 21. We got 1, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6, 7, 851 is our answer. Okay, number 9. Select all the expressions that have the product of 640. That means we're going to have to solve all these. Well, 1 times 64 is 64, and then when I move my zero over, add it to the back, it's 640. So that one is correct. Down here, 8 times 8 is 64, but then I have two zeros to add to the back. That does not match 640. Okay, down here, 4 times 1 is 4, plus two zeros is 400. 4 times 6 is 24, plus one zero is 240. Add those together and you get 640, which does match this up here. 6 times 4 is 24. Add my two zeros. It's 2,400. And then down here, 30 plus 2 is 32 times 20. Okay, this one I'm going to have to actually work out. Or I could do 32 plus 32 because I have a 2 here. So if I do 32 plus 32, I get 64. And then I can add my 0, which is 640. So this one is correct. Go ahead and turn to page 261. Right. On page 261, we have our first example here and it's partial products. So, as we can see here, we're going to start with the ones. So we have two ones times five ones. Two times five is ten. They're both ones. Then we have two ones times three tens. Well, we know that two ones is the same as two and three tens is thirty. So 2 times 3 is 6, but we have to add that 0 in. Now we're going to move over here. So we've got 110 times 5 ones. So 110 is the same as saying 10. So 10 times 5 is 50. And our last one, 110 times 3 tens is like pretty much saying 10 times 30. So 1 times 3 is 3 plus 2 zeros gives us 300. And it already tells us our answer. Number 2. Show how to use an area model to multiply 71 times 48. Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to put these in expanded form. So 71 is 70 plus 1, 48 
is 40 plus 8. I'm going to draw my square here. I don't have much room. So 70 and 1, 40 and 8. 70 times 40. 7 times 4 is 28 plus 2 zeros. 70 times 8. 7 times 8 is 56 plus 1 zero. 1 times 40 is 40. And 1 times 8 is 8. I'm going to add all of this together. So we've got 2,800 plus 560 plus 40 plus 8. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8. 0 plus 6 plus 4 is 10. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we've got 3,408. We also have the lines down here. So you could do 2,800 plus 560 plus 40 plus 8. I wrote them underneath because I didn't really have enough room on the top. There wasn't much room on this page. Okay, that's it for page 261. Let's go to page 262. At the top, number three. Show how to use partial products to multiply 48 times 71. Okay, I'm going to do it, start up here. So 48 times 71. Okay, we're going to start with the one. So one one times eight ones. One ones times four tens, because there's a four in the tens place over here. Now I'm going to go over here to this one. Seven is in the tens place, so it would be seven tens times, we're going to start up here, eight ones, then seven tens times four tens. Okay? Now we're going to write the total for each. One ones times eight ones is just like saying one times eight. So the answer is eight. One ones times four tens. Four tens is the same as 40. So one times 40 is 40. Seven tens is like saying 70 times eight ones. So seven times eight is 56 plus a zero. 7 tens, so 70, times 4 tens, which is pretty much 40. 7 times 4 is what we're going to start with. It's 28. And then we've got two zeros here. I'm going to add that all together. We get 8, 10, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 3,408, which is exactly what we got on the other page. Right, number four. Tell whether each equation is true or false. Okay, it looks like they're trying to do an area model here. So they need to have tens and eights for this one. 10, 10, 8, 8. And they need to have 40s and 2s for this one. So 40, 2, 40, 2. So this one is correct. 60 times 15. So over here, they broke apart the 10 and the 5, but did they break apart the 60? No, they didn't. They just put 6. So this one is false. 37 times 22. So we've got 30, 30, 7, 7, and then 22. So 20, 20, oh, that should be a 2, but it's not. So this is false. 99 times 11. So we should have 10 and 1 for this one. So there's 1, 1, 10, 10, and then 90 and 9. So 9, 90, 9, 90. So this one is true. Right, go ahead and have a parent check over 5 and 6 for you to see if you did those correct. And I will see you back for session 3.